Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel. Long time no see, happy October. We were a little MIA all through September. The mental health has been a little shaky, so the makeup content hasn't been flowing, but I am back. I am ready to celebrate the best season of the year, spooky season. So today I'm going to be doing my October Shop My Stash. Today has been a good day, my friends. Let me tell you, Hocus Pocus 2 came out and my Hocus Pocus 2 palette was delivered yesterday. Although I didn't check my mail until this morning and I had already done my makeup, but I'm very excited about this. We get to play with that. Teresa is dead and Lethal Cosmetics launched their second collab. So to celebrate, I did a look using the Lethal is Dead palette from last year. I did a very simple look using some of these blues, the green and the shimmery yellow up top. And tomorrow is the first day of October. So by the time you're seeing this, it'll probably already be October. But I am so excited because today we're doing my Halloween theme shop, my stash. You know Halloween is the best holiday of the year. Halloween, if you couldn't tell, is my favorite time of year. I have my LED bat lamp up at the top. I have Halloween decorations all over the place right now. And I cannot wait to do my Halloween shop, my stash. So let's go ahead and jump in. Side note, look how cute this Polaroid I got of my dog is. I love him so much. But I've definitely let my acrylic drawers get out of hand, so we are gonna go ahead and try and clean this up a little bit, get it ready for spooky season. I am very excited. I also have a couple newer things coming that aren't here yet that will be in my drawers when they get here. I did order the new Teresa is Dead and Lethal Cosmetics collection, so I do have the older palette, which I guess I'll just show you when I get to it but I did order the newer stuff. It is not here yet, it hasn't shipped, but when it does, I will be putting that in my drawers as well. But let's go ahead and dive in. As always, I think we should start with palettes because I just have so many palettes in my drawers. So first up is the Lethal is Dead palette. This is the first collab between Teresa is Dead and Lethal Cosmetics. And honestly, this just, I love this for spooky season. I've used this one quite a few times this past week, so I'm gonna keep this in my drawer. This one is also fairly new. This is the Nomad Cosmetics Hudson Valley palette, and I haven't used every shade yet. I still have to play with some of these cooler tones, but so far I've used all the warm tones. They're beautiful. I don't think I could not have this in my drawers for fall. I also have my Nomad Cosmetics Haunted Europe palette. This one is also gonna be staying in my drawer for spooky season. I'm obsessed with this one. I think the color story is gorgeous. The concept is gorgeous. They actually just discontinued this palette and I'm very heartbroken about it because I love this palette so much, but I am going to keep this in as well. Now for these, I do have some poster notes on some of them because my husband likes to write me little makeup challenges. <laughs> so cute but uh this is the costa rica palette i believe i can't remember what it's called i'm not even gonna try and pronounce that but this is the costa rica palette i did try this one out and there were several shades in here that i really liked but i think i'm going to put this one away this color story is just a little bit too bold for what i'm feeling for fall right now so this one is going back in my collection same with my nomad paradise palette this is gorgeous. It is such a pretty like rainbow palette. And I have used the oranges in this one quite a bit over the past month in September, but overall, I think I am ready to just put this one away and focus on some of my other Nomad palettes and pull this one back out in the spring. I have my Gingerbread Spice from Too Faced. I am making it my life goal to finish off this shade in the corner, Powdered Sugar. I did clear one corner of that pan. If I turn it, like you can kind of see it, but. I am determined to continue to work on it and I think I'm pretty close to pan in this shade warm and toasty. So this one is staying in my acrylic drawers. I also have my modern renaissance palette. This one is staying, no, this one I'm gonna put back. And the reason being is because this was in my A to Z project pan, but spoilers, there is a pan in the shade that I was working on. So I'm just gonna put this back for now and pull this one out again when I feel like it. My soft glam, this one I think Think I'm also gonna put back this one I was working in my pan those eyeshadows project but again I hit pan on these shades that I was working on so I think it is safe to say I can put this back without feeling too guilty but I did get quite a bit of use out of it over the past month and honestly this is still one of my favorite palettes like no shame last palette I have up top this is the tartlet in bloom and this one I've actually found myself reaching for very frequently so I do think I am gonna keep this one in my acrylic drawers for the next month because like I said I find myself 
gravitating towards these cooler tones, especially lately. Normally I'm not one for just a simple like one and done like makeup look before work, but I feel like I've gravitated towards that and this palette is perfect for that. Now I can open this monstrosity and we can start diving in. Up first we have the Michaela and Glam Light Pot 2 palette and honestly I really like this palette. I don't find the color story very fall, but I do really like the quality and I like the color story. I think I'm actually gonna put this one back because I do find myself reaching in for it, especially for these top two light shades for inner corner highlights. But I feel like in general, I'm not really reaching for blue, purple, or green right now. I'm reaching more for oranges, blacks, and like, grungy colors, so I think I'm gonna put this back for now. I have my ColourPop and Hocus Pocus 2 palette. This one I haven't even used yet. It just got in a couple days ago, so I do want to leave this in my drawer until I get a chance to play with it some more, but I'm really liking the color story. I love Hocus Pocus 2. If you watched it, let me know your thoughts. I'm obsessed. I thought it was so cute. I was a little nervous, but it was very cute. I have my Sigma Alice in Wonderland palette. This one, I think I'm also ready to put back in my collection. I do really like some of these grungy colors, but the couple of times I've used it last, I just felt like the shimmers weren't staying on my lid and it just kind of irritated me a tiny bit. It wasn't what I was used to from Sigma. So I think I'm gonna put this back until I am in a clearer headspace and ready to work with this one. I do have two palettes from Shroud Cosmetics. These are both in collaboration with Batty Bean, Betty Jean over here on YouTube. So this one is the It's Frickin' Bats palette and I have not used this one yet, but I do really like the colors of this. And although it's like blues and purples and things I wouldn't normally reach for in the fall. I really want to try it out just because it's like spooky themed. And then Hollow Bean is her collab from this year and this palette I am obsessed with. I have done so many beautiful looks that I'm actually like I want to recreate all of the looks. So I'm going to leave this one in as well. I'm going to leave both of my Shroud and Batty Bean palettes in because I just love them so much. I did recently pull out my Jeffree Star Weirdo palette to kind of play around with mostly for this silver but because I have so many other grungy color stories I think I can put this one back I did use it a few times so I don't feel bad about putting it back in my drawer I do have my ColourPop singles palette this has just a bunch of random shades from various panning projects and random singles that I felt like putting in here so I'm going to go ahead and leave this in here I have to figure out where all of these shades came from before I can put them back and like move them around but I think I'm gonna leave this in for now. We have two from Milk Cosmetics. The first is the Rust palette, and the Rust palette I think I do wanna leave in because this color story has really been calling to me recently. These grungy browns with like a mustard yellow have just really made me happy recently, so I'm gonna leave this in. The Gemini 2 I pulled out probably a couple weeks ago, and since then I've used it I think at least like three times. You can't really tell because these shades are so dang dense that no matter how many times you use it, it doesn't look used, but I did really enjoy using it. I've done a lot of like all matte looks with the pink side and I used this shade Boy Mum as a liner. I really liked it. I think I'm just ready to try and clear this drawer out a little bit. So I'm gonna put that back. I do have this single Super Shock Shadow from the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection last year. This is in the shade Don't Thou Comprehend. It is just this really pretty like orangey bronze. And I've used it a couple times. I do really like it. I'm going to leave it in, but I'm going to move it out of this drawer and into the top part of my acrylic containers. But I do want to continue to use this a few more times this month. I have this palette from ColourPop. This is the new Millennium palette. I pulled this out for a makeup challenge I was doing. I was doing an all purple look and I'm going to put this back now because I have fulfilled that makeup challenge and I don't really care for this palette as much as I would like. <laughs> this is the Odin's Eye Gila palette. This is in collaboration with Angelica Nikovist, and I really like this color story. I left it in my Shop My Stash last time I did it in August because I wanted to get some use out of some of the shades, but since then I have really gotten a lot of use out of this bottom row as well as some of these like grungy shades throughout the middle. I am ready to put this one back. The color story I feel like is a summer to fall transition color story versus like full on spooky season color story. But the quality is amazing. The looks I came up with were gorgeous. So this is fabulous. I just need to 
rotate through my collection. My Berlin 89 palette from Lethal Cosmetics. This one I did reach for, I think last month. I did film a September shot my stash and then I never uploaded it or edited it or anything because you know, your girl's out of it. I think this palette is very similar to the Hollow Bean palette, at least the shades that I would want to use. So I think I'm going to put back the Lethal one and just focus on the Hollow Bean palette for now and then I can reconvene and discuss my thoughts next time. I do have my Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. Really? I don't know why I've been reaching for this one so much, but this one has really called to me. Bruce just got zoomies. Apologies. But I really like this color story. I didn't really love it when I got it and I feel like I didn't use it for literally years, but I just pulled it out again maybe a month ago and I actually really, really enjoy it. I am gonna put it back for now because I did get quite a bit of use out of it. I am going to definitely be reaching for this again in the future. I have my Milk Cosmetics Blueprint Palette. This I was using in my project level up thing is is I feel like I'm doing so many projects right now that I can't keep them all straight so for now I think I'm going to put this back in my drawers I will reach for it as I want to reach for it but I feel like I need to really cut back on how much I'm focusing on different palettes because I think I bit off a little more than I can chew but I really enjoyed this palette prior to rolling it into my project level up I had never used this palette and I definitely think I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I've gotten a lot of use out of these two blue shimmers. Of course, the neutrals have gotten a ton of love, if you couldn't tell. But I really liked this palette. The quality is really good. I think the melt quality in general is really good, but I'm gonna put this back for now. And the last palette I have is the Melt Cosmetics Amore y Mariposas palette. I'm working on the shade Nueva Vida in my Pan Those Eyeshadows, and it is still currently in my rotation. And the color story in general is pretty fall-esque. So I do think I'm gonna leave this one in my drawer, at least until I roll out that shade. So this is staying. I just went and pulled out three palettes to put into my palette drawer. Normally I fill this thing to the brim, but because I have been slacking on some of my panning projects, I don't want to overwhelm myself too much. So the first palette I chose is ColourPop and Night Before Christmas. I really like the color story of this and I feel like it's not so much holiday themed. I kind of get the cool tones and the reds and pinks. I don't know if I get the whole color story as like a Halloween Christmas palette but I do want to get some use out of it. So I did pull this one out. I also pulled out my Melt and Beetlejuice The Waiting Room palette. This one is gorgeous. I love these deeper tones on myself. I think they're beautiful, especially like this red and like this shimmer, gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out as well as the ColourPop Play It Jewel. These mega palettes, I feel like I don't reach for all that often, but this one just has the most gorgeous selection of fall colors, so this one definitely I have to pull out. Not too bad for someone who is literally obsessed with eyeshadow. Next, I wanna tackle my cheek products and powders drawer. So these are all things that you can wear on your cheeks, powders, things like that. So first up, we have this Alice in Wonderland and Sigma Blush Duo. And honestly, I'm living for this. So I think I actually am gonna keep this in for now. I don't really use the shimmer side too much, but I'm obsessed with Paint the Roses, which is like this matte mauve, and it currently has dog hair in it. That's always fun. But I'm gonna leave this in. I think that one's so nice. This is my Fenty Beauty, uh, what is this? The Toasted Swirl Bronzer in the shade Chocolate Swiller. I had this over the summer. I got this when it first came out and I actually really enjoyed it over the summer. I put it back in my drawers, I think in my last shot, my stash, but since then I've pulled it out. I really enjoyed this one. I am going to leave this in because I find myself reaching for it all the time for an extra glow. My Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is in the shade 15 Nude. It was the lightest that I could get. A girl on TikTok actually got me on this powder. I can't remember what her name is. She always does like the bottle service in LA videos though. So if you know her, let me know. But I really like this powder. It smooths out so nice and I love it for no makeup makeup looks. Even if I just do like spot concealing and then go over it with this powder powder it smooths everything and it looks so natural on the skin my anastasia amrezi highlight the coveted amrezi highlighter i'm gonna go ahead and put this one back i did use it a couple times but i feel like i just don't reach for highlight all that often anymore it just isn't my style i go for more of like a glowy blush or bronzer moment instead i have this one size bronzer trio this one is in the shade light i believe and this one i am gonna leave in my drawer because i do really like especially these like this top shade and the middle shade the 
The bottom shade's all right, but I really like these top two. Beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. This is the shade Flexitarian. It is a Super Shock highlighter. I love this Super Shock. I am going to put this one back though, because as much as I want to continue to use it and try and hit pan on this, I feel like I'm not reaching for highlight enough to justify leaving it in. I can just reach for it when I want to reach for it. Beautiful shade though. My MAC blush in Gingerly. This is a holy grail of mine. It is just such a nice, beautiful fall blush. I'm gonna leave this in. I have this Charlotte Tilbury Cream Bronzer in the shade One Fair. It is beautiful. I have loved this thing to death. It is absolutely gorgeous, but I think I have my Anastasia contour stick as well. This is in the shade Fawn, and I really like both of these, but I feel like I only need to keep one in my everyday drawer right now. I think I'm going to leave the Charlotte Tilbury because I did use the Anastasia contour stick for quite a while before I brought the Charlotte Tilbury back out. So I'm going to put back the Anastasia contour stick, leave the Charlotte Tilbury. Speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, I'm going to go ahead and put back my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer. What a monumentous moment. I haven't been able to put this down since I got it at the beginning of this year. It has a very sizable dip in the pan if I turn it just right. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but in person, I promise this looks used. I really like this. It is absolutely wonderful. I think the packaging looks absolutely beautiful. It's so luxurious. But I do want to try and rotate through my collection. That is the point of Shop My Stash. And after I just use the same five things every single time, I won't use anything. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back for now. I have this bronzer from Urban Decay. This is the beach bronzer in the shade Sunkissed. I am trying to hit pan on this. I have some rings showing, so I think it is very feasible I could do it by the end of the year. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this in. This Benefit blush in the shade Butterfly. This is my orange blush, and I love this with every fiber of my being. So this is staying. I have this one from ColourPop. This is in the shade Flirt Alert. This is a pressed powder blush. I should have said that. This is from their Valentine's Day collection, hence the beautiful heart. This is just a gorgeous mauve, but I feel like it is very similar to the Sigma mauve shade. So I'm going to go ahead and put back the ColourPop and leave the Sigma. I have this one from ColourPop. This is in the shade Count Me In. It is a super shock blush and I am trying to finish this blush actually. I've made quite a dip in there. I feel like I've expanded that dip since last time you've seen it. Slowly but surely, I feel like these things will literally last forever but I'm going to go ahead and leave that in. And then I have two Too Faced bronzers. So the first one is my Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Beautiful, just natural bronze. And this one is the Natural Chocolate bronze. I am going to go ahead and put back the Natural Chocolate. I feel like I'm starting to get a little too pasty for that right now. I think I might leave the Milk Chocolate. I do like this one. And now let me go pick out what we're going to be adding. Some decisions have been made. I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this Benefit Butterfly blush away because as I was browsing my drawers, I found this one size blush trio. This is in the shade Firestarter. And I feel like these oranges are gorgeous and I haven't used this one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and trade out the Butterfly for this one. That way I still have my orange blush, but I get a different variety. And then other face products I picked, I did pick this one from Mac and Stranger Things. This is in the shade He Likes It Cold. It is a red. It is a beautiful, deep blood red, obsessed. And I think for Halloween, this will be so much fun. So I'm going to add that to my drawer. I also picked this from Jeffree Star. It is the Heartbreaker Skin Frost Highlighter Palette, but I do use it as blush. So I really only use Single Forever and Murderous Fun. I don't really use Frosty Heart, but who knows, maybe for spooky season fall makeup, I could dabble with some dark blush, but I think this would be fun. I haven't pulled this one out in a while and I always find it fun kind of going through my drawers and seeing what I have. And the last thing I'm adding, this is from the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 collection. It is the Soul Body Highlighter in Find the Book. This is brand new. I haven't used it yet. It smells delicious like coconuts. I'm going to go ahead and add this as I think my only highlighting option I have in there right now. As always, I just disconnected the top part of my acrylic drawer from the bottom. I did put my Halloween nine pan palettes in here and my Nomad ones in the back. 
let's go ahead and dive into this monstrosity. My mirror, as always, is staying. I can't go anywhere without my mirror. I have these two colorful mascaras from Jeffree Star. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in my drawers. I find myself not reaching for these. I am not a huge fan of this formula, so I'm gonna put these back. I have this little perfume. This is Marc Jacobs Entente, or Intense. I don't know how you wanna say it. I'm going to go ahead and put this with my other perfumes. I left it in here because I thought I might reach for it, but I really don't. So I'm gonna put that with my other perfumes. I have been keeping the same two mascaras in my drawer pretty much since I started doing the Shop My Stash. So I have the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Waterproof. This one I'm actually gonna keep in because it is my only waterproof mascara. I also have the Rem Beauty Lengthening Mascara. And this one, I thought I really liked when I first got it and tried it out. But I honestly, the more I use it, the more I'm not so much a fan. So I'm going to put this one back and I'm going to replace it with my Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I feel like this will be a much better fit for me right now. And I do want to try this one out again. I used to love this one. It used to be a favorite, but I want to make sure it's still kind of on that wavelength of being a favorite if that makes sense so i'm gonna exchange those two i have quite a few brow products in here i did have an empty this month i emptied my anastasia brow Wiz in the shade chocolate so that one i did put with my empties for the end of the year but i think this is all i have in here right now so i have this one from benefit this is the brow micro filling pen in the shade medium brown this is just supposed to be like micro filling your brows i'm not sure how i feel about it but i'm gonna leave this in i have my nyx pencil this is the micro brow pencil in the shade ash brown is the one i'm trying right now and then i also have my mac shape and shade brow tint in the shade spiked it is just kind of like a felt tip on one side and then it has kind of like a powder on the other so those are the three brow products I am keeping. Oh, I also have my clear ColourPop brow gel. I am going to put this one back because I have been using my Anastasia Brow Freeze, and I think this is much more up my alley. I'm not a huge fan of this either, but I think I like it more than the ColourPop. In terms of eye primer, I have my Fenty and my P. Louise base. I'm going to go ahead and... I want to try and use up the Fenty one because I think I have a backup of this one still. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this in. I'll put the P. Louise one away for now. This is great for colorful looks, but because I'm trying to use up the Fenty one, I think I'm going to just focus on the Fenty. I have lots and lots of eyeliner pens. I did have another eyeliner pen empty. I had my MAC Brushstroke Black Liner. That's in my empties bin. I did finish that one up, so I did declutter it. Declutter it. I'm doing an empties video at the end of the year. So you'll see it at the end of the year, and then I'll officially declutter it. But let's see. Which ones do I have in here? I have this one from Too Faced, the Better Than Sex liner in the shade Chocolate. Obsessed with this. It is one of my favorite brown liners. I have this one from KVD Beauty. This is the Tattoo liner. I decided to get this one as a replacement for my MAC because I haven't used it in a while. And I honestly really like it. I forgot how much I liked this one. I have my Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. This one I'm going to go ahead and put back in my drawers. I'm trying to keep it as minimal as possible up here right now because it's just overwhelming. I also have my MAC Brush Brown Liner. This one I'm going to keep in because I think I'm going to try and finish that one next. And then I have my Rem Beauty... What is this? The Rem Beauty Midnight Black Eyeliner Marker. This one is another one I'm going to try and finish up. So I'm going to just leave these four, put the Fenty one back. I have lots of lippies. I have this from MAC. This is the MAC Fix Plus Lavender. I have the tiniest little bit in there left and I'm trying to finish this one up. So that is going to stay. Same with my Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade 14W. I love this stuff, but my bottle's broken and it drips down the side. So I've been putting it up here so that way it's upright and it won't drip out in my drawer. This one is from NYX. This is the matte finish setting spray. I did finish this one up. It has like literally two spritzes left. So I'm going to go ahead and put this with my declutters. I'm very happy that I finally finished this. I have this one from Benefit. This is the Pore Professional Hydrating Primer. This is just a little travel sized. I am trying to finish this one up lately. I've just been using my sunscreen as my primer, but I've been using this kind of on my forehead or places where I tend to get a little bit oilier quicker. So I'm going to leave this in while I try and finish it up. This is from Jeffree Star. This is the Liquid Star Shadow in the shade Star Wedding. It's literally just a pure white. I don't think I'm a fan of this, honestly. I tried it 
and I felt like it creased super bad. I've only used it once, so I do want to try it a little bit more before saying I absolutely despise it, but I'm going to continue playing around with this. I'll leave it in and see over the next month how I feel about it. I have my star setting powder in the shade Lavender. This is a holy grail product for under my eyes. I really like it to brighten, especially on days where I don't sleep very well. That way I can brighten up under my eyes. <laughs> I've also been using an ice roller in my skincare routine and that has helped significantly with my complexion. So I'm gonna leave this up here as well. And this is a single shadow from Jeffree Star. This is in the shade Mood Ring. It's supposed to be a cream shadow, but when I ordered these, I ordered two shades and both of them were already dry when I got them. So that was disappointing. They are so extremely dry. Like, they're just so chalky. So I'm going to put this back and I think I might actually just toss it. I was not a fan of these. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but it is not gonna stay in my drawers. <laughs> now for lippies, we have several. I have this duo or trio, I guess, from the Michaela and Glam Light Pot 2. Let me show you how this opens because it literally shook me to my core. So this is a lipstick, right? It's just a typical bullet lipstick, but you press the top down at the same time like as you press the bottom or you press the top down and the bottom comes out and then the bottom is where the lipstick is and then you can like pop it back in from the bottom. I have used this shade I think once or twice and I'll be honest I don't typically gravitate towards nudes that light on myself. I'm not a huge fan but I think it would be fun to keep playing with it. I am going to put the gloss away for sure. I, I liked the gloss but I've been trying to finish up a Pat McGrath gloss, so I'm gonna put that gloss back. I think I'm gonna leave the lip duo in though, the lip liner and the lipstick. They're matching, they're in the shade, I don't know what shade they're in, it doesn't tell me, but they're in a nude shade, so I'm gonna leave both of those in. I have this lippy stick from ColourPop that I've had in for a while that I haven't used, and again, I don't know what the shade is, it's rubbed off, but I'm gonna put this one back. I have this one from Rare Beauty. This is beautiful, it is in the shade Worthy. It is one of my favorite nude lipsticks at the moment. I just love that shade on me so much. I feel like it's my perfect nude. So I'm going to keep this one in. This is just a quick and easy staple. I'm going to leave both of my Charlotte Tilbury's in. I have Pillow Talk, which is beautiful, just a standard nude. And then I also have Pillow Talk 2, which is like the medium nude. Love both of these. I think they're gorgeous. So I'm going to keep that in. I have this one from MAC. This is in the shade Yash. I don't really know how to say that. Y-A-S-H. I'm going to put this one back for now. It's pretty similar to the other nudes I've chosen, but I did use it quite a few times. Hug Me by MAC has always been my favorite lipstick. And when I found out that Worthy by Rare Beauty was very similar, just not as lustrous, I was over the moon. So I'm gonna leave Hug Me in because my goal I think is gonna be to try and finish this one as soon as possible. And the other MAC one I have is in the shade Cap... 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 Precarious? I don't know how to say that. But this one I'm gonna put back. It is a nude, but I don't reach for it as much as the other nudes. I have Hades by ColourPop and Disney Villains. This one is gorgeous, obsessed, but I'm gonna put this one back. I have this brown one by Jeffree Star. This is the Velvet Trap Lip in the shade Chocolate Fondue. It is a brown, and I do wanna leave that in because I do really like brown lipstick in the fall, so that one's staying. And then I also have this one, which I believe is in the shade Trench Coat. And this one's like a deep navy blue to black. And I have worn this one a couple times over the past few weeks and I've loved it. So this with like a black gloss over it is gorgeous. So I'm gonna leave that one in. Now I can go ahead and pick some fresh lippies. So give me two seconds and I will tell you which lippies I'm replacing. Magic transition. I did pull out some more products. So first up, I did pull out the Hocus Pocus 2 and ColourPop BFF mascara. This isn't like a plum shade. I'm not sure what it's called. Butcherson. So it's after like Billy Butcherson. I'm going to put this with my mascaras because I think it'll be fun to try that in the fall. I also pulled out a couple things. So I pulled out the Worthy lip liner. This matches the Rare Beauty lipstick. So that is staying in. I also pulled out a lip duo that I've been loving recently. So I've actually been using this ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner as a lip liner. It is just a brown shade, very standard brown 
pretty much basic AF brown. And then this Becca lipstick in the shade Neutral Taupe. I've been loving these two together, so I want to try to keep using that combo for the next couple weeks. I also pulled out this purple lipstick from Urban Decay. This is in the shade Cruise. It is such a beautiful purple, and I think the favorite purple lipstick that I own in my collection, so that one I'm pulling out as well. It is such a beautiful purple, and I think the favorite purple lipstick I own, so I'm gonna pull that one out. I also have MAC and Aladdin. This is in the shade Raja, just a beautiful, deeper, neutral love. So I'm gonna pull this one out. I have this gloss from the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 collection. This is in the shade Boys Will Love Me. This is just a beautiful black shimmery gloss. I think it'll be beautiful on top of a trench coat, which was that deeper matte shade. And then the last thing I pulled out is from the original ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection. And this is the, again, Sarah Sanderson duo. This one is just such a pretty deep red. So it is a matching liner and lipstick duo. But again, I find myself reaching for this one quite frequently recently. So I thought it would be fun to pull that one out as well. And as always, this last drawer is my lipstick drawer of doom that I refuse to touch, but I just keep a lot of miscellaneous liquid lipsticks in it. I have lots of Jeffree Star. I have Dose of Colors. There's some Nomad glosses in here. We have Lunar Beauty back here, MAC. I'm trying to think of what else. This is some ColourPop. So this one I am not touching. One day, maybe at the end of the year, my final shot, my stash of the year, I'll finally tackle this drawer. But I just kind of throw all of my liquid lipsticks that I use in here and just kind of haul it a day. So I'm going to just ignore that one. <laughs> Overall, this is the final selection. Again, ignore my craft stuff in the corner. It's not that cute. But I'm very happy with how everything is organized. This part especially is feeling a lot more decluttered up at the top. I feel I feel like I can actually open these drawers and find things. I am excited about the products I chose and I'm very ready for spooky season. That is all my friends. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Sorry if I'm a little out of it trying to get in the swing of things still, but thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye friends.